it is very important. Uh, there's a lot of people, the elderly and the poor people, that really depend on that to get to their medical appointments and to get to work. And so it's very important that we have that resource or need for the, those people. I think that transit has adapted very well in Grand Island. They've had trouble getting vehicles because of the COVID delays in production, but it looks like this next year they picked up two vehicles and they're going to get another two vehicles next year. Um, so that, that'll really help the transportation needs that they have. The thing with transit is a lot of their vehicles are very aged, they're 10 years old and they're wearing out and it's hard to find parts for them. I think it's very important, it'd be, it'd be nice to consolidate all their places around town into one place. A lot of their buildings are 90 to 100 years old that they're using for warehouses. So it'd be kind of nice to have everything under one roof and a metal building that would be modern. I think that's a good idea uh, where city government's coming together to consolidate and reduce overhead. I think that shows that we're growing, that we're expanding. Uh, we've got a lot of developments going on and uh, the future looks very bright. When, when you compare our, the rate to the other cities, we're considerably lower. So that means that we're doing a good job at managing our facilities and trying to give up the rate payer the, a break and make sure our rate is, is lower than our uh, fellow cities. I think it's very important they should be updating a master plan every five to ten years and it's been at least ten years since it's been updated. Yes, we're considerably below Hastings and considerably below Kearney, both cities. And, and I think that shows uh, what good leadership we have in this city in keeping our rates down. I think what really stood out at tonight's meeting was the city officials are really trying to hold the line on full-time adding full-time employees um, not in tonight's meeting there was not one request to add an employee to six or seven budgets that we've reviewed and so i think that speaks highly of our city officials mm -hmm.